What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Forge server which allows you to put mods on a server so that you can actually play together with your friends. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the latest version of Forge. So I would just Google Forge and come here. And uh, so Today we're going to do the 1.11.2. You're going to want to get the installer-windows. If you run Windows with not installer, I'm sure you can figure that out. Uh, you're going to get a file, looks like this. This right here is just our mod I'm going to install just to show you guys that it works. So what you're going to want to do, first off, after you download, uh, let's say you download the installer off the website, it's going to bring you to here, you're going to wait six seconds, click that, and then you get a file that looks like this. What you're going to want to do is make a new folder. We're just going to make this our server directory for right now. And throw that into there. And we're going to run this. And it's, we're going to want to install a server, and it's going to ask us where we want to install it. So we're going to put it into our server directory we just made. So after you're done, it's successfully downloaded Minecraft server, it downloaded the libraries, and it installed Forge. So this file and this file you're not going to use again. So I usually like to just throw them into a file called install. And I'll take these two. I'll just put them right into there. Alright, so now we have our libraries, our mods folder, and we have our Forge jar and our Minecraft server jar. So now basically what we're going to have to do is if we're going to get the server running before we put any mods on it. So what we're going to have to do is uh, we're going to have to write a batch file actually to uh, launch the server. So we're going to basically make a new text file. I would just call it run or start or whatever. And you're also going to want to save it as a batch file. So run.bat. And if it didn't say .txt right there for you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up to, uh, I think it's like organize, folder and search options, and view. And you're going to want to come down to where it says hide extensions for known file types. You're going to want to make sure that box is not checked. Otherwise, it'll hide the .txt, and you won't be able to change it to a .bat. And if you type .bat, it'll just it'll make it run .bat .txt, and it won't run as a batch file. It'll still be a text file. So now that you have your batch file, it shouldn't have anything in it, and you're going to want to go into it. And we're going to have to write a Java command line so that we can actually run uh, our server from a command prompt. So you're going to want to start off by typing Java, and we're going to have to. I think it's XMS, and I got one of these right here we can look at. So, yeah, so we're gonna start out with 1024M. So, it's gonna that's your minimum amount of uh, memory that you want the server to initialize with. Now, we're gonna do our maximum amount of memory, which is XMX, and we're gonna set that to 4 gigs. And now we have to put the type of file that we're going to be opening, and now the file name. So we need to come here, get this whole file name, copy it, put this into here. And now I believe that's all we need. Yes, and uh, if you don't want the Minecraft uh, default GUI to come up for the server, you can type no, no GUI right there as a parameter. And then you want to type pause so that when you stop the server, it'll pause real quick before ending. Uh, so you can still read what's in the console window. And then you want to save this. And this is our batch file. And now we can go ahead and run this. And it should start up our server. And we should get an error. See how it paused and exited. So now I have to accept the end user license agreement. So we edit that. Um, no, I do not want to update plugins or whatever. Um, you will always change this to true. You save it. X out. And run it again. Don't add the properties yet. They're not going to be there. We got to let it initialize one more time. And this should fully load up the server and create the spawn area and stuff. You should see that it did do that. Oh no, it failed to bind port. Might help if I stop this other server first. Let's try that one more time. Uh, 
And here we go, starting the spawn area. So it's all working up, it's all working great. You can only have one server running at a time, so we'll on a port, so make sure that you don't have any other ones running. And when it's done, just type in stop. And now you can come down and edit your server properties. And um, I'm sure you guys all know what to do with this. I'm not going to explain that here. Um, now what you want to do to add mods to your server is we're going to want to make sure that the mod you have is for the version you have. So we have 1.11.2. We have iron chests. Uh, that is not... Yeah, 1.11. So we're going to throw this into our mods folder here. And now we'll run our server and it should it should initialize with uh with iron chest. So now that our server is initialized, uh, we got to test it to make sure that we can join with a client. A good way to do this is to use curse. Uh, I just created a new blank profile called test. And uh, if we have no mods installed, then I'm just going to open up the folder for the mods and I'm going to paste in that iron chest mod. So now we have it in there. We're going to play. And this should let us test out uh, the client for the server. So once it loads up, we can go in. Uh, let me just change this, make sure that we've got iron chest. Let's load it up and it's running. And let me just change the GUI real quick. There we go. And we're going to go to multiplayer. I'm locally hosting this. So I can just type in a zero. Uh, join server. Logging in. And there's the proof that I joined the server. And I didn't get any errors with Forge telling me I didn't have mods. We are in here. And I do not think JEI is in here, so I'm not going to be able to do this. But if throw myself um, 6305 should be able to grab an iron chest so yes it works so that would be how you uh, install a forge server and put mods on it. You should be able to put any mod you want on there as long as they don't conflict and cause problems. A good way to do this would be to build a list in Curse, test out the client first, and then copy all the mods into a forge server. That's usually how I do it. Um, but other than that, I hope this tutorial helped you guys somehow. Um, you can always change, like I said, in your batch file. Um, you can always change these values right here to add more RAM to your server and because this is what the uh, megabytes of RAM that it uses to initialize with 4096 is 4 gigs, 1024 is 1 gig and uh, also I know this is going to trip up a lot of people you need to make sure that this is exactly the same as the file that you want to open because you're going to copy this from websites or copy this out of a description or something and it's not going to be exactly the same one of these numbers is going to be off make sure it's exactly the same or it won't work But other than that, uh, should be it. Hope you guys, hope this helps, and uh, be sure to check out my other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.